Hello weirdos, it's Voodoo aka Tay back with another tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to do this weird random pumpkin looking thing that I whipped up at 2 o'clock in the morning because you know everyone paints their face at 2 o'clock in the morning. So let's get started. First and foremost I'm going to grab a cheap black eyeliner and start outlining the design on my face. The reason I use eyeliner is because it doesn't stain my skin. It's easy to conceal with paint and it's easy to remove at the end. Now I googled some images of pumpkin carvings and I use those images as references to design my face. Now I find these really cool because I've never carved a pumpkin before but now I get to say that I've painted a pumpkin on my face before so that's something new. Next I'm going to bring my pumpkin design down my neck and onto my chest because let's Face it, if I didn't, I would look like an idiot with a pumpkin head. Now I'm going to draw on these weird, long, pointy, striped, tendril looking things on my neck and my chest. Just to give it a little something something, you know? Now if you make a mistake drawing on the design, don't worry too much about it. Because you're going to paint over it anyway and hide all the errors that you make. That's the beauty of using eyeliner because you can cover that bad boy up. Oh. Next, I'm going to grab my Montmartre Face and Body Professional water-based paint in the shade orange. And I'm pretty much going to cover my entire face with this paint, except the areas around my eyes and my mouth. After I've finished painting my face orange, I'm going to go ahead and start filling in the areas of my chest piece. Obviously in orange as well, to match everything. Now, as you can see, as I'm painting my chest piece, I'm not focusing on staying within the lines because after this, I'm going to go over everything in black paint and tidy up everything anyway. Now, before I go over everything in black paint, I'm going to go ahead and grab some black eyeshadow and start outlining all the areas that I'm going to paint black. Now, this is going to give everything a bit more depth. After that, I'm going to grab the same black eyeshadow and use a smaller brush to draw in some lines on my forehead and the rest of my face to give it a bit more of a pumpkin look. After that, I'm going to draw in the same black lines on the orange areas of my chest piece. Next, I'm grabbing some yellow body paint and I'm going to start highlighting the little black eyeshadow lines I just finished drawing on. Now, when I'm doing this, I'm painting the yellow line on one side of the black eyeshadow line because this will emphasize the depth of the black eyeshadow and give everything a nice little highlight because I'm going to go over everything with black paint. I hope that made sense. <laughs> Next, I'm going to grab the same black eyeliner I used to draw my design and I'm going to fill in all the little gaps around my eyes. So my waterline, my crease, my eyelid. Now the reason I'm doing this is because I'm filling in the gaps with black paint and I don't want to risk getting black paint in my eyes. So this is the easiest and safest way to do so. Damn, don't I look good? Next, I'm going to grab my Montmartre Face and Body Professional Paint in the shade Black and I'm going to outline, fill in and just sharpen everything off. Now, I started off with filling in one of my little black eyes. Now, when I paint my eyelid, I'm not opening my eye until the paint's all dry because if I open my eye and the paint's still wet, it'll leave crease marks and I don't know, it just looks nasty, girl. Next, I'm going to go ahead and grab the same black paint and start drawing in the lines where the black eyeshadow and the yellow paint are. Next, 
Now I was an idiot. I forgot to draw on a nose at the start when I drew my design with my black eyeliner. So I'm just gonna freehand one with the black paint. <laughs> Next, I'm going to go ahead and fill in my mouth with black paint. Now, the sharper the little points are on the mouth, the better. Now after I finish filling in the mouth with black paint, I'm going to go ahead and start filling in the areas of the chest piece with the same black paint. Now when I'm doing this, I'm making everything as sharp and neat as possible. So I'm going to outline the little orange tendrils we made and I'm going to make a little line in between the black eyeshadow and the yellow paint lines. Now when I'm creating a really colourful look and when it comes to the end and I'm finishing everything off and sharpening things and filling in areas with black paint, I just have the most satisfying feeling ever. I don't know why, it just, it just makes you look a hundred times better than you think it would turn out and oh, it's just hands down the best feeling on earth. Actually, no, that's a lie, I like eating too much but it's a close second, so who knows, who knows? <laughs> random bumpkin looking makeup thing <laughs> now if you try this look out or you recreate it in any kind of way tag me so I can check it out also if you like this tutorial and you'll want to see more give it a thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel and follow my instagram account at lady voodoo I post mini tutorials and photos of the looks I recreate for my youtube videos as well as little bits and pieces from my everyday boring life. So if you feel like being nosy, head over there. Anyway, thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!